The Cyndaquil's team almost here? Look! Here they come! It's true, darlings. Let's go! Great work. Great work, Cyndaquil. You really took down that ground? Darlings, it's fantastic. You have won me over. Whoa, well, wait a second. How does everyone know about what happened underground? Palipper spread the word with an extra edition of the Pokemon news. You bunch became stronger than I expected. You can be proud of it. You lot did great. Why don't we team up sometime? ha <laughs> ha! You've earned everyone's respect now. Your Team Go-Getters is a first-class rescue team. Take pride in that, Mudkip, Cyndaquil. <laughs> Cyndaquil? This is great! Every bit of our effort, it was all worthwhile. Would you look at that? I didn't think someone that could take down Groudon would be such a crybaby. <laughs> huh? What was that? I thought I heard something just for a moment. Did I just imagine it? No, I heard it too. Me too. Even now I hear it. Someone talking? Not sure. Where is this coming from? This... this voice. I've heard it before. This voice. I'm sure. That's it. It's Zatu. Zatu. Ah, that's it. Telepathy. Zatu is calling out to us using telepathy. To all Pokémon, calling all Pokémon. Terrible it is! From the sky falls a star. From the sky comes a star. It is huge, a giant of a star. The star, it falls. It falls straight to us. Zoom upwardly. Shooting star. Big ol' star. It's a meteor, dude. Come on. Call it what it is. Disasters in nature, there were many. The balance of the world, it has been upset. All because of the star. The star that slowly comes closer. If it keeps coming, it will crash into this world. It shall be terrible. Something must be done. Zatu, tell us, can the falling star be stopped? There is a way. To prevent collision, there is but one solution. You must ask Rayquaza. Rayquaza? What might that be? A Pokémon living far above us in the sky. Legendary, it is. Rayquaza must be asked to destroy the star from the sky. However, far, far up in the sky lives Rayquaza, known by few and seen by none. The sky. How are we to go there? Alakazam and I amplify our teleports together and send Pokémon to the sky. However, the sky is a world above the clouds. What will become of the Pokémon sent to the sky? Even I can guess nothing. Then we'll do it. We'll go. I also... I thought there could be none but you. But, are you sure? There's no telling what you would find in that world above the clouds. We expect danger. It's my wish that all Pokémon can live in peace. Mudkip, Cyndaquil. Do you hear? This is Zatu. 
Discuss we will, Alakazam and I, about how our teleport can be amplified. Departure, it is tomorrow. Rest you should until then. Last word, dangerous will be your adventure. But fall, you must not surpass yourselves. No problem. We'll be fine. Right, Cinequil? Let's get it done. Just when I thought I had a grasp on what impossible meant, we now faced a mission like no other. The fate of the entire world now rests in our hands. We hope you'll succeed. Please don't give up. Now more than ever, it's imperative that we have every single thing we need. This is not an ordinary journey. We're going into the sky. There's no telling what lies up there. And what we'll have to face. But I guess we'll just have to keep on being prepared like we always have. That's how we got this far. By thinking things through. But also, by not thinking too much. Even though the mission always seems impossible, we always pull through, because that's the only option we'll ever accept. So as long as we just keep on doing what we've been doing, I'm sure we can make it through this as well. We have to. I also hope for your success. Fight! I wish we had more time to prepare for this. Perhaps wait for more stock to appear in the shops? But unfortunately, time is not on our side. We'll just have to go with what we've got. Cyndaquil, you're our one hope. But if by any chance we can make it back again, we're gonna want to deposit all of our money so that we could buy something later on. Hopefully it won't come to that, but it'd be better to do that than to lose it. I don't know what sort of Pokemon Rayquaza is, but with you, I know can become a friend! We have made some unlikely allies throughout this journey. Also some unlikely enemies. But we always got through it. One way or another. And now we're all working together to save the world. You'll do fine. I'm sure you'll find success. Have confidence in yourselves. My friends are responsible for every ounce of confidence I have. Their kindness and generosity. Not to mention their acceptance of me. It's what keeps me going. And it's what makes me want to give back to them. I want to do everything I can for their sake. They've always given me their all, so I have no excuse as to why I can't give them mine as well. Hopefully this will show them just how much every one of them means to me. I'm rooting for your success, Cyndaquil! <laughs> Even you, Golden. I'm sure your skills will be very helpful in this area. And I wish I fully understood how to use them to their fullest potential. But I guess that's my loss. I'm not capable of everything, but I'm still going to try my best. Papa hasn't come back yet. I wonder what happened to them. Oh, maybe they've already gone to the sky. And maybe they've already met Rayquaza. That's not possible. Even Papa can't fly. <sighs> Where did Papa go? The world may never know. That shooting star crashes. It's going to be terrible. Your only hope. Go for it. I'll try my best. Oh my, isn't this awful? But I get the feeling that you can make a difference, Cyndaquil. Please don't let us down. It's quite a burden to carry, but one that I'm prepared to take on. No matter the cost, we have to succeed. And we're going to. I promise you're all going to be okay. I'll use Harden and wait for Cyndaquil's team to come back. Whatever you say, Metapod. A shooting star is on a collision course. This is indeed a desperate time. But there is nothing that I can do. All our hopes ride with you. I realize that it is a heavy burden to bear, but we must count on you to succeed. I appreciate your understanding. It isn't easy, honestly. We've experienced a lot of hardships throughout our time in this world. 
but the positives definitely overcome the negative ones. <sighs> well, I mean, I guess he did help us make the house. But perhaps I should ask him to change it one last time. You've been quite an interesting friend, Smeargle. But you're still a member of Team Go-Getters nonetheless. I'm happy to have you. Even if you have your own reasons for being here, I appreciate you being by our side. Absol, I can't thank you enough for all that you've done for us. You've gone above and beyond to make a difference in our lives. We might not even be here if it weren't for you. I'm glad that you're going to be here with us. And Magnemite, you've been with us almost since the very beginning. When we were just nobodies, you believed in us. And we couldn't have gotten our start without you. So thank you for everything. I promise we're going to come back. So don't worry about having to be the new leader of Team Go-Getters. But if it ever does come to that, I know you'll do great at it. I suppose it's finally time to say goodbye to everyone before setting off. Rayquaza is a legendary Pokemon, isn't that right? Getting to it sounds difficult enough. But you can't fail. This is getting heavy. But I have this feeling that you can do it. We need you to win. Darlings, I can't begin to imagine a world above the clouds. Best of luck. Everything depends on you. Don't fail. If anyone can do it, it's you. Keep your faith. I will set out to confer with Zatu. You leave tomorrow. Prepare for your journey before then. You can do it! You can stop the star from falling! I'm throwing in my lot with Team Go-Getters! Get out there and save the world! I'll wait for you. Cyndaquil, I'm sure that you'll succeed and come back. We will. I promise. Thank you all so much for believing in us. We won't let you down. Cinequil, are you all ready for the sky? As long as I have you by my side, there isn't anything I can't accomplish. I'm all set, my friend. Yep, looks like we're ready to go. We'll leave tomorrow. So let's get plenty of rest for tomorrow. Tomorrow! Let's give everything we can, Cinequil. isn't it? <laughs> but who would have thought you were also human before? Didn't expect that. But who cares? Someone like that's sure to be some lowlife. <laughs> I'll expose you yet. I'll expose what's in your heart with Dream Eater. <laughs> Something's coming. What? What is that light? It's coming closer. The pain... It's going away. Guard of War? Guard of War. We 
Will you tell me now? Who or what I am? Yes. The time has arrived. Why you have come here? I will tell you all there is to tell. Jeffrey, you have... Come to save this world. Um, came to save the world of Pokemon? I did? Yes, we learned that this world faced extinction. And so we sought a hero. But though we searched, nowhere could we find our hero. We were becoming discouraged when we came across a human. Jeffrey. You were that human. What? Wait a second. Hero? Me? Th that's too much. I'm not anything special like that. Yes, that is also what you said the first time we met. You said you were not strong. But what we sought was not power merely for display. We sought true courage. True courage? That... I'm even less confident about that. That too is what you said when we met. It was then that you said this. To see if you are worthy to be our hero or not. You ask that we put you to the test. And only if you were found to be truly worthy, then you were to be told the truth. To fulfill your role clear of heart and mind, you then chose to erase your memory as a human and became a Pokemon of your own will to fight alongside your friends. That is how you came to be in this world. I... I did that? Your courage has been proven. Without question, you bear the role of saving the world. And that role, it is soon coming to its end. Oh, stopping the meteor from crashing into this world? That's my role? Yes, and when that is accomplished, you can return to your human world. Oh, so I can go back to being a human? Wait! But that means... Yes, it means... Parting ways with Mudkip. Mudkip? I have to leave? Mudkip feels great kinship with you, Jeffrey. So, Jeffrey, if you were to leave... Your friend would be heartbroken. But there can be nothing done. Because while there are encounters, there are also farewells. I, too, once had a friend beyond value. Truly, I cherished our friendship. But my friend has gone away. It fills me with sadness still, losing my friend. But, we will meet again. That is what I believe. What was that? Who was it? Someone appears to have been looking into your dream. But it is fine now. Whoever it was ran off. All that remains in this dream is a feeling of sadness. That Pokemon... I think ran off crying. It will be morning soon. Au revoir.